In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can generate Venn diagrams using Python. And the library we are going to use is the Matplotlib Venn library. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to the page where you can read more about this library and how you can install it. Now, the Matplotlib Venn library enables you to generate two circle and three circle Venn diagrams using this functions here okay so you are able to generate the weighted forms using this you are also able to generate the unweighted forms using this function here and you are also able to generate tunable circles for these venn diagrams using this particular command now the tunable circles allow you to further annotate or add additional information to your venn diagrams and then you get what you want at the end of the day so join me on the Python terminal as we begin the show. So the first one we are going to tackle is the two circle Venn diagram. And this is how it appears, it looks like. So you have your set one, set two, you also have these values A, B, and then A, B. Okay, this is how the two circle the Venn diagram and so in order to generate in Python using the said library, you first need to create your list which contains the values in this order. And then you generate your labels which will also be in this order as I've given. Notice how I've arranged them. So you need to do the same. And after you've generated the labels, you now use the Venn2 function to generate the Venn diagram by supplying the items and then the label list. You can also add some additional parameters such as color, etc. So we look at some of them on the Python command line. And so if you are to generate this Venn diagram which has these values, then this is how you are going to create your item list. This is how your label is going to be. And then this is how you are going to plot this Venn diagram so let's go to the python terminal and perform this exercise so we first import our libraries so the first one is the main matplotlib library so we say matplotlib.pyplot we import it as plt and then when i import the two circle Venn diagram. So you see from matplotlib Venn import Venn2 and then Venn2 unweighted and then import sort Venn2 circle. So we now import them. So after we are done with the imports, and it's not time to create them. So we need to first create our items as I've said. So let's create the items. So we call it what 80 43 6. Then we also create our labels. So labels let's just say set one set two. So after we are done the labels, it's not time to create um, the plot. So let's begin with the weighted plot. So let's see how the weighted plot. The weighted plot generates the circles and the size is dependent on the values that you've given in this items here. So this is how we generate the weighted plot. So let's just say event two, and the weighted plot is this particular function here. So we have event two into brackets and we supply with a subset is equal to what items then we hot set labels okay we set the labels here so where the labels is going to be hot the labels that we have created here and then we can also choose to add color or customize the color please note the colors that you select depends on 
the labels that you have here as well. So let's just say we want to set set one to have um, a color of red and set two to have a color of green. So now we set what? Set colors is equals to this time let's use a set a typo. So we say red and what? Green. Now you can also set transparency. For transparency, um, you, you can use what you call the alpha parameter. So the lower the alpha value, the more transparent it becomes. So in this case, we can just set it to, let's say, 0 0.7. So we say alpha equals to 0 0.7. Then we hit enter. So we now have this created. Now, in terms of the matplotlib function, you can either save or you can actually show it on your command line. I mean, in terms of the image. So for this one, let's just save it and review it afterwards. So to save, we say, because we imported it as this way, we can say plc.save fake. And they will indicate the path where you want to save it. So let's just say I want to save it on my desktop. That's my path. And then I indicate the name. So let's just say two circle. And let me just say then two. Weighted. Then I indicate the file type. There are several file types you can use. So depending on the extension, it automatically know which file type um, you want. Okay, there are more advanced ways to do this, but we will leave it this way. So once we do this, we now save it. So if we should go to our desktop, we can find this image there. So let's go there and then check. So this is the file that has been created. Okay, and this is how um, it is. So we take note of um, that. So we can also generate the plot and then show it without saving it. And to do that, we use the command here. We will now enter it again, the same command again here. And then we now say plc.show. Okay, so it can now show it for us here. Of course, notice that the font size is very small, so there are ways to actually change the font size, the font color, and all those things. But those ones are beyond the scope of this work, but so I will leave those ones. But it's possible to do that because this is also dependent on the matplotlib library itself. So that's how this one is done. Of course, we can add a title to it. So let's just create the same title, the same plot again, and then add a title. So we say plc.title, and just say two circle green diagram. So we can say plc.show, and then we get it done here for us. Okay. Now, notice I said with the weighted diagram, sizes are given based on the value that you supply. And so you can see what is happening here that 80 here is given a bigger size while 43 is given a smaller size because obviously 80 is higher or greater than 43. But what about if you don't want this particular type of circle but you want the circles to all be the same size then this is where the unweighted comes in. So with the unweighted, what we do is that, let me just clear this and make it. Um, what we do is that we, instead of Vent2, we call Vent2 unweighted. We call it by the other arguments remain the same. So we supply it with our item. We set our label. Which is called label. We set our color. Okay. We can leave the color default for now. Let's just use the default color. 
So labels, let's say we just leave the alpha. Okay, we just do this. Okay, so if you do the show, you see that it's all of the same color. Okay, the same, the, sorry, the same, the same size. Okay, that is how they unweighted it. So you can do some further modifications as well. So let's just do it again. And then I will just um, add our offer. Okay, now we have it there. So the alpha makes it a bit transparent. So this is how we do it for the unweighted plot as well. And finally, let's look at the circle. For the circle, we'll just do one line of code for just to demonstrate how it is. And then later, you can expand on it by reading on the documentation. So the circles, this is how we do it. We use event two circles. And then we supply the subset equals to item okay so with this one we are going to leave them with the default um setting because the sec this one generates it will generate a kind of a blank circle where you can annotate so let's just show how it is okay so this is how it generates it for us so with this blank circle here in quotes that you have here then you can now further do the annotation for it. So I will skip the annotation. You can read more on it on the documentation page. Okay, so that's what we do. So this is how we use the Matplotlib event to generate the two circle Venn diagrams. So now let's move on to the three circle Venn diagrams as well. So this is how a typical three circle Venn diagram will look like where you have your three sets here and so we have set one set two set three and then i've also given this annotation here as an example so the a will belong to what set one exclusively we have b for set two and a c for set three and then we have a b being the intersection for set one and set two we have a c being intersection for set one and set three and we have PC being the intersection for set two and set three. Please be careful and then pay attention to this particular instruction because this one can be a bit conf confusing. And so with the syntax for creating the three circle, this is how it goes. We will have this. Okay, here. So the items here should be entered in this order. Where we have A, B, A, B, C, A, C, B, C, and then A, B, C. Okay, so that is why I have this labels here to guide you to understand the particular order. Because here the order is very important. And so once you have these items created and the labels created here, then you use the Venn tray to create your Venn diagram. And so we have an example here where we have this values here. Okay. And then in order to plot it using the matplotlib Venn, then this is how it's going to be. So we have A, which is 80. And I've used this labels here to show you. We also have the B and then AB and it follows in that order. You also set your labels here and then finally you plot with your ventre function. Please take note of this order and then try to take your time and understand and follow this video in order to be able to plot this. So let's go to the Python terminal to do the plot, shall we? So here again, we import our library. So we say, we import the same libraries here. 
and then when we go to the matplotlib we use the vent3 function instead of vent2 so we say for matplotlib then import vent3 and then we also import the vent3 weighted i'm going to skip the vent3 circle because it's just the same as the vent2 so this is how we import this library Good. So now that we have imported it, we now create our items. Please again take note of the order of how I'm going to create it. So other items will be what here. As I said, we have what A first. We have your B. Where the A is the 80. And then we also have our B, which is 43. We also have our hot AB, which is 6. Then we have hot our C, which is 62. And we have our AC, which is 16. And we have hot our BC, which is 3. And then our ABC, which is 18. And it should be a 7 member list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's how it should be. And then we set our labels. The labels to cost to what okay so we now have it set so now we now come and do our plot so we say then three subsets to cost to what items set labels to cost to what labels and then we set our color we just leave the color with the default so this time let's just say Alpha, we set it to let's say 0 0.4, which is being shown here. Okay, so we now set it and then we plot. So we can now show the plots. Yes, so this one we are using the weighted. So notice that here the sizes are also given based on the value. So we have 80. 62 and then 43 here these are given here so if we want the unweighted the order we need to do is to use the unweighted here and then we have it there we can now show it here okay so this is how we do the plot and for um, the three circle Venn diagram. Of course, as I indicated, because it's a matplotlib object, there are lots of parameters you can change and modify depending on your needs and then how you want the Venn diagrams to be. So I'll leave my tutorial for today to an end and then I'll see you again in the next section. Don't forget to look in the description box for important information to the developer's page. Have a nice day and a happy coding. Bye-bye.